Okay, so the first card is being manipulated. You've got, uh, this is um, about Saturn and Mars. Now, this is trying to manipulate the situation. Maybe this is where you are at at this moment. Because uh, Saturn is something that rules Capricorn and you have Mars there. So this is talking about taking your personal energies and really trying to manipulate the situation to suit yourself. So you are getting uh, control of that situation. And it's probably something to do with work. You're using all your... Um, skills to get that situation sorted out you've got jupiter over here so this is about either expanding the mind so this is about maybe you want to do some further study uh, further courses uh something to do with work but this is also about a change in luck so this is the wheel of fortune coming in for you here it's a jupiter card so something changing something bringing a positive change expansion coming abundant com abundance coming in again you've got the moon card over here so this is talking about feeling a little depressed and also maybe the ending of old cycles as well this card could also talk, talk about dealing with a mother, uh, you know, your mother or a maternal situation, because it is the moon. It's something where a cycle is coming to an end. So there might have been problems that you had uh, not much clarity about, a little bit of depression going on over there, and you are now trying to get over that situation, taking control again. In the past, you've got dealing with hidden enemies over here. You can see Jupiter and Mars over here stepping on snakes. So you've been dealing with people that have give, been giving you difficulty. There might have been a lot of, uh, you know, gossip going on around you. So you've been dealing with those kinds of situations. And you've had, um, you know, any kind of problems uh, that any hidden problems. Uh, problems have come to light it's been sudden revelations but also recovering from any kinds of losses that you've been going through so slowly things are coming right again um you've got um uranus over here which is liberating you from these problems and allowing you to expand and uh, you know you can see education maybe you're doing some studying as well um with jupiter over here you know it always in implies furthering um you know improving mind skills or um um increasing your horizons or um so this could be about new uh you know new study coming in new courses coming in on learning expanding your mind learning something that was hidden from you so hidden things suddenly coming to light but also expansion of that mind um, and recovering from any difficult situations as well so going to the future, you've got this um, Mercury and uh, the Moon. So there's a bit of cloudy, cloudiness going on in the mind. There might be a bit of depression going on over here. You are maybe uh, thinking about the past too much as well. Now that cycle usually comes to an end with the Moon. It's a temporary phase, uh, but you need to clear your mind as well. And you've got... Uh, uh, um, Mercury and Saturn over here. So, uh, you know, any kind of uh, issues that you may have been having with um, maybe your health, uh, those kinds of problems are now uh, resolving themselves. So any health issues, um, you know, you're sorting it out. It is also might be stress-related illnesses that you're dealing with. So, you know, you could be getting a little bit of depression and being a bit too stressed out, you need to have a little bit of a break over here. Uh, you know, Saturn is very restricting on the mind. Mercury is also not a very, very good card for the mind it's a very anxiety based card so you might be very very anxious at this particular moment about things that have happened with this mercury the anxiety and the moon is about being a bit cloudy so going through a little bit of a depression phase over there and a, a little bit of anxiety you need to actually take a little bit of a break take a holiday and sort that out things are coming uh, to focus for you you are trying to get control of that situation again um but it looks like your luck is changing with this Jupiter on Jupiter card. And it looks like you might, you know, this could also be a card of travel. So it looks like you might even need a little bit of a holiday in order to get through any kind of depression that you're going through at the moment. So those are the energies for that week. Get some downtime. Get some rest and relaxation. And it'll do wonders for you. <laughs> okay, Capricorn, let's see what's going on in your uh, general read. This is the Green Witch Tarot. I have shuffled this deck. Let's have a look. <clears throat> okay, you've got this chariot card over here. So this is... 
This could be travel. So you could well be taking a holiday in order to relax and recuperate from it because it is the chariot card after all. And it could also be that you're buying a new home. You could be moving home. And this is also a card of achievement. So whatever, uh, ever issues you've been sorting out or sorting through, you are going to be victorious in it. You have now taken control over it. You're getting yourself mentally geared to take control of that situation. And it looks there, like there will be victory for you. So you could well be traveling on a holiday, going away, because it is a card of travel, but also even moving home and taking control, sorting, you know, getting victory in that situation. So what's happening with you? You've got the high priestess of high priest over here, and it's crossed by the five of swords over here. So you are, you know, using a lot of your traditional ideas or beliefs, or you know, getting some kind of advice. It looks like you're getting some kind of advice to deal with a difficult situation. It also could be that you're getting legal advice uh, to deal with the situation, because this is the five of swords, and you're getting the with. Um, High priest, which is about you know traditional beliefs, institutions, law agencies, money agencies, uh, and with the swords card, it looks like there's some kind of legal advice that has been coming in for you, or you're seeking legal advice in order for you to get victory or success in a situation. Now, this could be legal advice um, to deal with problems that you've been sorting out, or legal advice to even buy a new home. So you could well be buying a new home here, uh, and you know uh, getting some kind of legal advice or legal aid or or some kind of um, legal legal uh, um, intervention to sort out this particular problem. So you are dealing with some kind of, um, you know, trying to make a decision, a legal decision, or some kind of legal decision being made, and you needing to seek some kind of advice uh, in order to get that sorted out. So in the past, you've got the Six of Cups, maybe spending a lot more time with your family. Uh, maybe you've run into somebody from the past that you used to know, an old friend, and you have re uh, reconciled with them or, um, you know, you're spending some time with them. And this has been going on in the past. Um, this is also, you know, somebody being stuck in the past too much. So maybe, um, you know, uh, thinking about the past too much. But it looks like here, you know, you're been more socializing with somebody that you've met from the past. So going back and looking for old friends or meeting up with old uh, friends from the past. These people are having a tea party here. So, you know, somebody from the past. So this person um, that you've met, uh, you maybe you just bumped into them. Uh, and they're going to give, uh, been giving you some advice on how to overcome your problems and situations. So you might have been socializing with them, and they've been giving you um, uh, advice on how to move forward and how to get out of a difficult situation. So you've got the page, a page of that theme is here, which is the uh, page of swords, and this is some kind of legal uh, news coming in for you. Uh, and you know, it's not been, it's it's caused you to be a little bit of a uh, little depressed. Uh, you've had to um, maybe do a lot of research in order to find out the answer. It's happening during the full moon over here. So maybe whatever this information is that has come in is not really, uh, you know, above board. Now, you could well be dealing with somebody who is a bit of uh, a liar, somebody who... Um, because the Page of Swords is a person who's very deceptive. They carry tales, they're not a very nice person, and you're dealing with this person. You can see this is happening in the dark, in the middle of the forest. Uh, things are being hidden from you, so information has not come to light. And even the information that has come to light is very suspect. So just be, you know, just be careful about what uh, information you're actually uh, reading through or sifting through or uh, looking at. Uh, you know, all the facts may not have been revealed. But this is also you dealing with some kind of legal news. Uh, so really, if you're dealing with any kind of contracts that you've been signing, make sure that you are reading all the fine print because there's something that is not quite above board with whatever you've been dealing with. Um, you know, it looks like it's something legal because you've got this five of swords over here. So this is about legalities. Um, and this is also, um, the five of swords is not a very nice card either. It's about deception, lies, vindictiveness, um, untruths, misunderstandings. So something, some kind of information that you are getting right now or that you are reviewing right now is not very, very above board. It's, you do need to look for something hidden in it. And you might need to get some advice uh, when dealing with uh, this particular situation. So there's something that you do need to do some research or get some expert advice when handling it. If it's a contract, anything to do with legalities, it looks like it's not very honest uh, work going on there. Now, you've got the Queen of Wands over here. You might be dealing with a fire sign person. 
so Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. But this is also you trying to get control of that situation as well, taking back your your control, uh, you know, being in a, a position of authority or leadership, trying to get that control back uh, with that fire sign, uh, fire energy coming through, uh, you know. Um, this could also you, be you thinking of travel as well, uh, because the Queen of Wands is also about travel. So, um, like I said, this could be you dealing with a fire sign person or you're just trying to take your control back. But there's suddenly, suddenly that fire energy is pretty prominent or you're thinking about it right, a lot. So going to the future, you've got the Lord of Shadows. So this is about uh, cutting out things that are not serving you and walking away. You can see they've left this person behind and they have moved forward, this father and son. There's a butterfly there for transformation. So there has some, they made a wish and they're moving forward along their path. So there was a bit of a, you know, a bit of drama because there's a deviation around that wishing well. Um, you know, maybe you, they threw water into, the, um, threw money into the well and it, they lost it forever. But, you know, so there's been some kind of loss that you've went through. But also you've had to leave behind things that are not working out for you. So, you know, having abandoned something to the past, some kind of shady situation or say uh, some kind of shady person and you are now moving forward. You've turned your back on that situation and you are walking away from it. So you've got the Nine of Wands over here. You are still in a very defensive position. So you're having fought a lot of battles. You are now, this person's laid their wands on the table. So you've laid your cards on the table and you know what you want in life. And you have fought a lot of battles and been through a lot of trouble. And uh, you are now standing um, firm in what you believe in. So uh, you've been through quite a bit and you are now standing up for yourself here with this Nine of Wands. You've got the Eight of uh, Swords over here. Around you, people uh, see that you're still pretty stressed out. Maybe all those problems that you dealt with have left you, uh, you know, feeling pretty um, miserable, really. A bit tied up, you can see, still dealing with all the pain and hurt from the past. You're trying to get rid of it. <coughs> you're trying to break free and move away from all that pain and hurt that you went through. And I guess people do see that, uh, because this is how people see you around, uh, see around you. This is what people see you as, a person trying to cut out those difficult situations and move forward. You can see there's a lot of apples in the tree. So there, there, is, uh, there are things around you, there are gifts around you um, that you will be able to use. So you do have opportunities that are around you, uh, but you need to, to be able to see these opportunities. You need to let go of things that happened. So, you know, try not to let the hurt and the pain that you went through um, decide how you move through uh, the rest of your future. You need to let go of it in order for you to move forward. Um, you know, it's only these thoughts, you going over and over it in it in your head, that is the thing that is causing you not to see opportunities that are presented to you. With the apple, there's a lot of abundance coming in for you, but it will come in only when you let go of that pain. And that's a very difficult thing to do. But, you know, it's something that you're going to have to try to do. Like I said, you've got the death card over here. So you have to walk away from it. You have to physically move away from that pain and hurt. Because it is keeping you very, very restricted, very, very tied up. Maybe that person that you had dealt with is still got a little bit of a hold over you. And uh, this is not allowing you to move forward. You've got the lady and the lord over here. So you have some kind of choice that you have to make. So some decision coming up for you about what to do. Uh, you know, who are your faithful friends and who are the people that will serve you. So you are trying to make some kind of decision. So going into the future, you've got the star, uh, the two of cups and the ace of cups. Now, the star card is being guided uh, and being hopeful and also throwing out all that negative feelings. You see, she's dropping out everything from these bottles, everything that she accumulated, she's getting rid of. So you have to do that. You're going to have to get rid of all those negative emotions. And you're going to have to be positive, optimistic, say a lot of uh, positive affirmations and believe it. Start believing in these positive affirmations. Uh, and you are being guided. And, and this is so positive because you're being guided towards a wonderful relationship that is going to be coming in soon for you. You've got the Ace of Cups over here and the Two of Cups. Now, if you keep hanging on to this past, you can see with this Eight uh, of swords hanging onto the past. She's not seeing the apples in the tree 
and they're actually falling off the tree and getting rotten. So the thing is that you're going to miss these opportunities if you don't let go of that uh, negative emotions. If you don't throw it out and find your direction, then you are not going to get this new opportunity that is coming in because you have to be able to see it in order to get it. So it looks like there's a two of cups coming with an ace of cups, so a brand new emotional offer coming in for you, abundance coming in on an emotional level, something that breaks the clouds, takes away all that negative emotions. And, you know, it's a relationship that you've been waiting for, something that you've been waiting for for a long time. It brings in stability, it brings in new doors, new openings, new opportunities coming in for you. But if you don't, if you hang on to the negativity, you're never going to get that opportunity because you're never going to see it. So you do need to get that blindfold off and stop being negative about it. See the apples in the tree? And that is how you're going to be moving forward. So this is so positive. This is a two of cups. This is a soulmate connection card coming in with the ace of cups. And this is a brand new cycle, a brand new... Um, you know, it, it's almost grace, uh, you know, it's it's God-given, heaven-sent. You've got the star card, which is being divinely guided, and then you've got the ace of cups, which is a gift from the universe to you. And that's going to make, make you happy. If you're not in a relationship, you will get into one. And if you are in a relationship that's not going so well, it will it will resolve, all the problems will resolve themselves. So definitely some new love coming in for you there. But you need to, to let go of that past, absolutely, uh, you know, Put it behind you and walk forward. So this is the angel uh, tarot and this is for the oracle read. And the first one is the empress which says lavish abundance, give birth to your dreams and nurture yourself and others. So with the empress card it's a card of achievement and anything you have in your mind you will be able to give birth to and it will flourish and grow. Because she's the queen of queens and she is ruled by Venus and everything that you want on a material basis on a financial basis and on a love basis gets fulfilled by the empress you've got the seven of water over here which says a complex decision and need to do research stop procrastinating i did say you do need to make some kind of decision over here with the lover's card that choice is coming up for you and um you know even here you can see there's almost like a choice coming up with the swords cards so there's some kind of decision that you have to make over here so uh, make sure that you are researching all your options and the last card that's the right way up, is the awakening look um, at things from a different perspective, a temporary standstill. It is important to be yourself. Now, this is the hangman. So this is about self-sacrifice or feeling like you're sacrificing a lot or seeing things from a different angle. This period might be a bit slow. It might You might feel like things are not moving on here, but it is giving you the opportunity to see, to see what you are missing out or see what you can leave behind and how you can get rid of all this past pain and hurt. It's giving the opportunity for the star card to come into play, which means that it's giving you the opportunity for you to get rid of all those negative emotions. So this uh, hangman, even though things seem a bit of a standstill, it is a, it's a period of healing. It's, it, it might be very short, period of healing and it's also Peter that is saying that you, you've got some divine uh, timing at play here so you need to just wait. Um, while you're waiting be positive, think positively, and then you will manifest this relationship that you want after going through a lot of drama uh, in the past. So I do hope that this reading has resonated with you. Uh, so, you know, make sure you are doing any kind of research uh, if you're making any decision and get rid of any kind of negative feelings in order for you to open the door for something positive to come in. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.